My question for you today is why do you live in Lafayette? Or Battleground or West Lafayette or Dayton or, or wherever it is around here that you might be living. Why do you live where you live? Uh, for Jen and for me, of course, you know the answer. We chose to live here. When we were in Chicago, we did some research on different places for us to live. We, we knew we wanted to get a new church started up from the ground and uh, we did the research and we found out that Tipkin County is one of the most diverse counties in Indiana. We knew we wanted to be in Indiana because it's close to her family and so we picked Lafayette. It just made a whole lot of sense. So we came here. But, you know, that's not really the whole story. I know you've heard that part of the story, but that's not everything. When I was in college, my sophomore year, I decided I wanted to join the track team because, you know, I thought I was the fastest kid in my high school and I graduated with 13 kids in my class, so I must be the fastest kid at college too. And so anyway, I joined the track team and I wasn't great. It was fun, I had a good time, but I just wasn't very good. But I do remember the day that the coach told us our next track meet was gonna be at Purdue University. And I thought, oh my goodness, Purdue, they have, they have their football games on television. They play in a stadium, they're nationwide. I did terribly, by the way, but that's another story. Anyway, the next summer after that, I was walking in California in a parking lot of a church, looking at a silver car, that had a Purdue bumper sticker in the window, in the back window of the car. And I just remember thinking to myself, Purdue University, that's cool. Anyway, so I went inside the building and the first person I saw when I got into that building was Jen, my wife. She's sitting there, it was the first time I'd ever met her. She was sitting there at a table and sitting next to a guy that I kinda knew. So I went over to the table, I sat down, I said, hey Steve, how you doing? He said, hey Jeff, how you doing? Have you met Jennifer? She's from Indiana. And I was like, Indiana, and I kid you not, the first words I said to my wife were, that's your car. And then when we were in Chicago, I remember the day that someone told me that there was a group of people praying about getting a new church starting, started in Lafayette in the shadow of Purdue University. And that was the first time I ever seriously thought about church planting. And so on the one hand, you could say that Jen and I chose to move to Lafayette, but on the other hand, I really think more accurately, God led us here. You see, for over a decade, God had been dropping little Purdue hints into my life so that by the time we were ready to think about moving someplace and starting a new ministry, really Purdue was sort of the top of the list. Lafayette, the area around here was at the top of the list. It just made sense. But it wasn't just that we chose it, it was that God led us. Which brings me back to the question, why are you in Lafayette? You know, the Apostle Paul once was speaking to a bunch of people in the city of Athens, and he basically asked the same question. Why do these people in Athens live in Athens? I want to read it to you. It's from Acts chapter 17. The Apostle Paul says this to them. He says, From one man God made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him though he is not far from any one of us. That first line, from one man God made all the nations, they should inhabit the whole earth, and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands, tells us that the Apostle Paul is saying that God chose where you live. God chose where everybody lives. It was God's desire to establish where the nations were, where their boundaries were, where the people in those nations lived. That means he led us to Lafayette. He led you to Lafayette. Now, I know you might say, oh, I was born here. You know, I was born in St. Elizabeth's or Home Hospital or, or maybe I moved here because of a job or maybe I came here because of Purdue University and I just never left. I, I don't know what your reason is for being in Lafayette, but the real reason is that God chose for you to be here. God determines where everybody lives. Now, that seems a little interesting. Why would God take so much specificity? Why would he plan in such great detail where people would live? Well, the second part of that verse said it. I'll read it again. The Apostle Paul says, God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he's not far from any of us. You see, the reason you live where you live is because God knew you needed to be there in that spot at this time because it was your best chance of getting to know him the way he wanted you to know him. 
Why do your neighbors live where they live? Because God knew that this was the right place and time for them to be, to have the best chance of knowing him for who he is. Why does anyone in Lafayette live in Lafayette? It's because God knew that this was the best place at this time for them to be, to come to know him the way he wanted them to know him. So here's the big picture. If God chose for you to live here for this time, that means he's got a purpose for you living here at this time. This week, we're going to spend time in prayer, living into our purpose, asking for God to do his work in this city that he has planned already to do. We just want us to be a part of it. And so we're joining in it with this week of prayer. Join me in praying for Lafayette, West Lafayette, Dayton, Battleground, any of the surrounding areas, our whole county, as we ask for God to have his will done in this part of the world as it is in heaven.